and let's punch it. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the all new Nissan Sentra. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Nissan here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with the Sentra. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Jeff. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder paired to an Xtronic CVT. Power outputs are 149 horsepower and 146 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 28 around town and then 37 on the highway. Now, before we go over the front end, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, you guys can see it's flat there in the center and then look at the distinctive lines there on either side. Really cool looking headlights here, and then you guys can see the fog light action down below. And then of course we got the Nissan smiley face there on the front end with the Nissan logo, and I think it looks cool. But yeah, putting it all together, I mean, this is a Sentra, this thing looks aggressive. Come around the side here, tire and wheel setup is 215, 45, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see we've got these black five spoke wheels, which look pretty cool. There's another wheel option you can get with the SR and I think I prefer that one more. It's got some silver on it, a few more spokes. I do like the fender here and then you guys can see with the mirrors blacked out and then you got some chrome trim there at the bottom of the windows. And then here is your full side view on the Sentra. So here's a key fob with the Sentra. We've got a remote start function or lock function or unlock function and then the opening for the trunk and speaking of trunk it doesn't open up all the way i suppose so uh popping here in the back it's actually very spacious a lot bigger than i expected given the size of the car and then when you're all done just plop we've got this low profile spoiler here in the back end and you guys can see all of the badges here and then look at the tail lights we've got parking sensors here at the bottom and then we got our exhaust tip poking out the back now in terms of overall design with the Sentra, i think this is really good looking it just pretty much looks like a mini ultima Really cool stitching here you guys can see and then also down below with all of the padding and then we got the carbon fiber print. And then taking a look at the seats you can see again with the orange stitching and then look at the inserts there as well. Legroom here in the back is actually really solid. We've got a USB port and I don't understand this like economy cars always don't have a storage pocket here but they have one on the passenger side. And then headroom back here is good. And we have, if I can grab it, a cup holder armrest. Now taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see with the stitching and the padding. We've got all of our window controls here, front one's automatic, and then you can see again the carbon fiber print. Door lock and unlock function with our adjustments there for the mirrors, and then there's a quick look at the mirror itself. Front seats, definitely spunky looking. Look at that like insert there, and then you guys can see down the center portion as well. Uh, the seat is manually adjustable. And then you notice stuff like our gas cap release. You got the trunk release right here, and you can see for the eco mode as well, and the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got really nice padding here with the orange stitching there in the center portion. Look at the silver trim. We've got our cruise control function here. It is adaptive, by the way, with our voice command phone controls. We've got some controls for the center stack volume controls as well. And then our turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. Now as for the gauge cost, you guys can see mostly analog, but we do have a screen here in the center, which we can use to scroll through a bunch of different bits of info here on the car itself. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. As for the rest of the infotainment system, we've got controls here on either side for the system. Um, we've got buttons here at the bottom as well. Overall response time is uh, solid. I like the uh, mouse clicky sounds. That is definitely uh, nostalgic. And then you can see more of the carbon fiber print and then look at like the stitching throughout on the dash and everything. That looks nice. Got a bunch of vents here in the center, and then you guys can see with our climate controls down um, below, we do have a dual zone climate system with this. Right now we just have everything uh, synced though. And we've got our little charging port area, is what we will call it. And you guys can see the shifter for that Xtronic CVT. Um, we've got the nice like stitching and padding here on the side. More of that carbon fiber print around the cup holder area. And then you can see here at the center console, really nice. Good storage space inside. 
And then popping over to the glove box, yeah, pretty normal. And we have a manual mirror dimmer and then just a lighter colored headliner. Now here's our window sticker. Um, first off, you guys can see pretty much everything is standard equipment with this. Um, we've got our base MSRP at 22,700. Total MSRP on this one, 25,335. And let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And well, let us set off. Actually, before we actually officially get on the road, got to get my uh, good old fashioned camera pulled out for the uh, YouTube shorts world. Anyways, I've got my seatbelt on. We're not on the road. Safety first. Now, <laughs> phone's down and we are driving. So first things first with the uh, center. These seats are actually very comfortable. I like the bolsters too. They're aggressive enough that they hold you in place really well, actually, but they're not so aggressive that you're uncomfortable. Um, and I think if you're a bigger person, you'll still be able to fit in these seats. So getting up on the road here, it'll be interesting to see how this Xtronic performs in the Sentra. I've actually been a pretty big fan of this transmission in other cars the Nissan has, um, like the Altima, for example, because it's a very responsive CVT. Um, a lot of people complain about CVTs, but the modern ones are becoming just super good with how responsive they are. They feel pretty much, not almost, not exactly the same as like a regular torque converter, but pretty pretty similar. They're, they're getting there, that is for sure. Ride quality is also really good. So that's another big plus with the Sentra. A little bit of wind noise. It is super windy today though. So that's something to consider there. Gripping well through the snow. Again, remember this is only front wheel drive. Got through that snow pile fine. <laughs> that person, did they crash? I think they did. Huh, well, we'll just leave that in the video just for fun. Uh, yeah, going over these bumps, very comfortable with the suspension. This engine's really torquey, actually. Again, for a uh, dinky little two liter four cylinder, it does a pretty rock solid job with the acceleration. Yeah, I'm so impressed with how this drives. This would actually be a really good just uh, daily driver, which obviously I'm sure that's what most people use this for. That's impressive, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna get our acceleration in a little bit, but I am gonna pop into the S mode, which is supposed to be like the sportier driving mode. Oh, I can already feel it's keeping it uh, slightly, like when I'm just, cruising here it's same rpms but like when i get on it it i can tell it it kind of uh, wants to have it at higher rpms because it's trying to give you a little bit more power out of the engine which is obviously great i really like i really like how this drives frankly steering's really good too it's direct this has a lightweight feel to it as well well, we are in no danger of pulling out anytime soon. So I can get my phone ready for our POV for the uh, short here. The reason I'm saying that is because we got the Prius in front of us. <laughs> uh, Prius has got to gotta love them. Oh, they're wait they were waiting. They were waiting forever. Okay. Well, let's make sure we're not in the same lane as that Prius. And let's punch it. Pretty solid, pretty solid, that is for sure. Sorry if that wasn't the best uh, viewpoint. Trying out the uh, YouTube shorts, they don't pay any money, but maybe that'll bring more people to reviews. Anyways, uh, something things up here with the Sentra. Um, I think it looks great on the outside, frankly, for a uh, you know smaller economy type car. I think that it also drives really well. Uh, and this CVT, it's solid. I like the Xtronic CVT, it's very responsive for a CVT. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything, like in this segment of car, I mean, for the price point this set, it has a nice interior, like material use is nice for what this is. I don't really have anything bad to say other than like, it would be cool if Nissan offered this and all wheel drive like the Altima. So then we could have like another, like an Impreza competitor basically. 
But other than that, let me know what you guys think about the new Sentra.